Hi friend, good week. How are you? First of all, I would like to wish you happy holidays, happy Easter, you and your family and all your friends. Enjoy this uh, great holiday period. Well, during the last uh, week, um, I was with my family. They come visit, so I uh, was not so available uh, to the markets, but nothing special happened. Just a few breaks on the majors. And actually that's all. And why? I just want to remind you, we are still waiting for Wednesday. So uh, this week I would like to split for actually three parts. The first part is Monday. No trading, no volatility is expected due to the, uh, the bank holiday worldwide. Only in the US banks uh, will, uh, will actually work. All the rest of the banks uh, across Europe Australia, New Zealand, Japan, uh, all are uh, are uh, on the oh, <laughs> sorry, all of them are on their uh, holiday period. So um, actually, Monday is not expected to be a volatile day, such as uh, the last Friday, as you as you actually saw, nothing happened, right? The zigzagging, and the, that's how the chart looks, right? every chart. So. Not the kind of charts we are looking for and we are interested in, right? So uh, the next part would be Tuesday and uh, Wednesday until the almost the end of the U.S. session. Why? <coughs> I beg your pardon. Because it's 27th of April. If you follow my weekly reviews uh, consistently, you know uh, that... Uh, I've been talking about 27 as very very important day for uh, the last few weeks. Why? Because Bernanke will hold a press conference. Bernanke will release U.S. interest rate, but not that the interest rate is not so important because probably there will be no uh, any unexpected change. But the most important thing is, will be. What is Bernanke about to say uh, according to the Q, the potential QE number three? Will he actually release more uh, money or uh, will they stop? And um, actually, that's what the market is uh, expecting to see. So, uh, this, the first part, once again, is Monday, the Eastern, the second part is. Tuesday and half Wednesday, and the third part would be Thursday and Friday. That's how we split this week. So today's weekly review actually is um, the, not, not nothing we can expect actually for the upcoming week. Um, I will show you some potential move only for Tuesday and Wednesday because trying to catch the move before Bernanke's press conference. Is like uh, trying to you know to to jump a bungee uh, with uh, without a roof. So uh, <laughs> very dangerous. So uh, just keep your money, friends. The opportunities will come immediately after Bernanke's speech, probably during the, f the next few days. But uh, until then, there are few opportunities that I would like to show you. Um, but before that, I just want to explain why it is so risky. Because what, for example, right? Just for example, the euro dollar. We have this divergence, right? We have a resistance. Actually, I was I was calling the 147 at the top, but 147 was never reached. 146.70 actually blocked uh, this up move. And watch watch this now. There is a resistance. There is a divergence. There is everything beautiful, but. But the RSI still sloping up, the stochastic still sloping down, <laughs> still sloping up. Sorry, there is no completing divergence, right? So they actually get th there is actually a, a fight, as we can see from the chart, even from the chart between the bulls and the bears, between the speculants that Bernanke will uh, release the QE number three, and between this that don't believe in uh, Q number three, and they say. That Bernanke will stop the halving program. So what actually is about to happen? You see, even the chart uh, is pointing the fight, the non-clear picture. 
the Bollinger bands up, but divergence is here. The stochastic pointing up, RSA still sloping up despite of the inverted hammer on Thursday. So what's about to happen? The weekly chart is still bullish. No one has any idea. But the expectations, <coughs> sorry, the expectations is that, the, that Bernanke will, and I, I just to remind you, that's just expectations. No one really knows what Bernanke is about to say. The expectations from the investors uh, that the Bernanke will actually continue with his helping program uh, until um, the picture will be much much clearer and if so that the euro should after uh, that period reach the 150 the british pound should reach 170 even even maybe higher a uh, new zealandian 1084 new high australian 1010 new high etc 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 right so actually, the investors are are against the dollar, and we can see why. If we take a look on the monthly chart, right? You remember this triangle, friends? One, two, three, four, five. Then little up and the break of the six. If that's the situation, then um, the U.S. dollar, of course, it's a, it's a monthly chart, so it will take a while, right? But if it's the situation, <laughs> that means that the U.S. dollar will continue to lose its power. Very logical if Bernanke will continue with his plan, with his helping program. So that's about the U.S. dollar. What about the uh, little short opportunities? British pound broke the, well, the 164 finally, the, actually closed above. That's a pair we talked about on the live trading room. Once again, I would like to invite you to this live trading room. We uh, we analyze the market together. We recognize the opportunities. We look for the opportunities. We enter live when there is an opportunity during the live trading room. Uh, and we have a, a, a exact, specific um, instructions how to enter when to enter according to what chart uh, to enjoy the profit so uh, we uh, we have entered for the british pound for example here with the break of 163.75 this one and right it all the way to 166 that's what that was the target of, of ours so a beautiful nice move but now there could be a nice uh, retracement according to the daily chart which we could see a retracement to 164 right retracement to retest this uh, actually support line i would uh, prefer to go for the four hour charts and look for this breakdown this breakdown if this one is broken down then we will probably see a down move to the 20 moving average and then maybe to do the support line that's the only risky opportunity uh, I could see from the uh, the majors. Uh, another one uh, we could actually um, find uh, on the euro yen. Once again, it was um, oh, the correction. Remember the correction I've been talking about? All the way to the support, right? Then retrace again, and now. Uh, but once again, it's very risky. Very risky. There is no way I will trade it, but for the uh, risky trade of you, it could be a flag. A breakdown of this flag could lead for another down move. But once again, very, very risky. One, because Monday, no trading. Tuesday will be probably speculating for Bernanke's speech. And that's actually, that's actually all. So these two are opportunities I could find, but once again, risky, 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 they are very risky. And that's why I prefer to stay out until Bernanke's speech. I will update and cre create a special video for you uh, just after Bernanke's uh, press conference, and it will be Thursday, because Bernanke will hold it on the Wednesday evening, European time. Uh, and I will prepare a video for you on Thursday, right? So uh, just with update for Bernanke's after after Bernanke, I, I'll call it the day 
after Bernanke, right? So that, that's about the market, uh, friends. Uh, be uh, be uh, cautious. Stay tuned for every uh, uh, for every danger from the market. Now I really believe it's very risky to trade now. There is no need to trade. We could be uh, patient, friend, and and uh, don't jump uh, with for the very very deep water. One uh, once you know. There are many, many, many sharks in the water. So stay, stay uh, actually <laughs> a cautious, friend, and uh, don't make uh, don't make things that you will probably regret afterwards. So once again, I would like uh, to wish you a great holiday, a great um, Easter, a happy Easter. Uh, enjoy the time with your family. Enjoy the meals if you if you have. And uh, once again, I will update on Thursday the the, the, um, the situation on the market. Uh, and I, once again, I would like to invite you to to our live trading room, free service for all the Forex Signals members, for all the Forex Signal members. So uh, come, friends. We had two fabulous weeks. The last week it was the British pound. Um, the the British pound buy uh, that was that was the highlights actually um, so come friends uh, it will be very very great to see you there and uh, thank you very much for your time watching this video goodbye.